Hi, in this video, we're going to look at a module one, section two example on accumula accumulation functions. Uh, so the example, let's get straight to it. The example is you're given the following accumulation function values, uh, A of one, A of two, A of three, and A of four are values 1.2, 1 1.5, 2, and three respectively. I, say, I have that 100 is deposited at time zero and another 400 is deposited at time three. And I'm tasked with trying to determine the total amount of interest earned between times two and four. So the 100 is deposited at time zero and the 400 is deposited at time three. So let's capture that on our timeline. So that's, that's our timeline. And I'm trying to find the interest between times two and time four. So there's a couple of different approaches that we're going to take. We're first going to look at the, the first approach that we'll take is we'll, we'll look at the a, a total amount in the account at time four. So that's the amount function A of four. So what's the total amount at, at time four? And then I'll compare that to the total amount in the account at time two. And I'll recognize that the amount of interest earned between those two periods, or, or let me rephrase that, the difference between those two amounts, the amount at time four is going to be more than the amount at time two. And the difference there can be accounted for with two things. One, the interest earned on the money that was in the account, plus the other part though, which is important in this case, is were there any extra deposits in there? So the difference between the two amounts is accounted for by extra deposits in the account plus interest earned on the money that's in the account. I'm going to denote so, so let's, let's capture that in an equation. On the left-hand side of this equation on the, uh, on the slide there is what I'm denoting as uh, the amount of interest earned in the account from time two to time four. So the cap I value is the amount of interest and the subscript two to four, that, that, that's I'm using interval notation from two to four. So that's the, uh, the cap I sub two four is the amount of interest earned over the interval from two to four. And again, you take the amount at time four, subtract off the amount at time two. You'd also need to subtract off any deposits that you made into the account because that would increase the account value uh, at time four also. And so I can look at the problem and I clearly see that there was a $400 deposit at time three. So I would need to just subtract off the $400. And so my equation that I have to set up to solve, the equation of value here would be that the, uh, the cap I, the amount of interest that, I'm, that is earned in the account is the difference between the uh, amount at time four and the amount at time two, and then I need to subtract off the 400 that I put into the account. So now let's look at these two values. The, so I need, I need to calculate the amount in the, in, in the account at time four and the amount in the value, <laughs> the amount in the account at time, at time two. The amount at time two is a little bit easier. You see the 400 that was put in at time three, that, that has, that wasn't even in the account. So that doesn't, uh, that doesn't uh, uh, you know, add anything to the value of the account at time two. At time two, all that was in the account was the accumulated value of the $100 that was put in at time zero. So that $100 accumulates to 100 times A of two from the learning video. That's how we know that we use accumulation functions. That's how we, we use accumulation functions. And so the amount at time two is 100 times A of two. Again, the 400 doesn't contribute anything to it. It hadn't been put into the account yet. It hadn't been put into the account until time three. So at time two, it's not there. And so now we go back to the original problem. We look at what the A of two value is. It's 1.5. So the 100 accumulates to 100 times 1.5, which is 150. And now the interest in the account from between time two and four uh, now all I need to do is calculate how much is total in the account at time four, and then I'll, I'll be able to, you know, get my, my, my answer. Okay, so now let's focus on the amount in the account at time four. Well, I need to accumulate the $100 to time four, and I also need to accumulate, uh, well, let me back up. I, the, that's going to accumulate to 100 times uh, the accumulation function at time four. And then I also need to account, uh, accumulate the $400 from time three to time four. And I know from the previous section uh, that the $400 as an expression will accumulate to 400 times the periodic accumulation factor from time three to time four. But I also know from the learning video 
on, on this material, on the accumulation function material, that the periodic accumulation function from time three to time four is the ratio of the accumulation function at time four to the accumulation function at time three. And so the A of four value, the total amount in the account at time four would be the sum of the 100 times A of four, the accumulated value of the 100, and so add to that the accumulated value of the 400, which would now be 400 times uh, the ratio of A of 4 over A of 3. So let me capture that in a little bit cleaner form there. That's what I'm trying to calculate. And now I go back to the original problem. I need to know what the A of 4 and the A of 3 values are. Those are the A of 3 is 2, the A of 4 is 3. So I'll plug those numbers back in to this, to, to this expression. And I'll get that the uh, cap A of 4 value then would be the, the first term would be 300, the 100 would, would at time 4 accumulate to 300, and the 400 that was in at time 3 now accumulates to, what is that, 400, that's uh, 600, and so I get a total of 900 uh, in the account. In other words, the amount of interest earned, I'm going to substitute that 900 in for the cap A of 4, and the amount of interest earned from time 2 to time 4 would then be 900 minus 150 minus 140, which of course is, is 350. So my answer is that the amount of interest earned in, in between times 2 and 4 in this problem would be $350. So keep that, keep that number in mind, and I want to show you a, a, another approach that, that's a natural approach to take that's an alternative solution that uh, I completely would understand somebody doing this other approach. And that would be, let's look at, a, at I'm trying to calculate, uh, once again, the amount of interest earned between the two arrows there, between time two and time four. So what we'll do is let's look at the amount of interest earned the account based on the $100 deposit between time two and time four. And then we would look at separately the $400 deposit. How much interest is it earning between time two and time four? And add those two amounts up. Uh, so that's what we're going to do now. So the amount of interest uh, between time two and time four based on the deposit of $100, I'm going to denote with the symbol that's on the screen. And the way I would calculate that is by just accumulating the $100 to time four and then subtract off the accumulated value of the $100 at time two. And that would be the, the, the difference there between those two values. Since I'm just looking at the $100 that was put in at time zero, the difference between those two values is the amount of interest that was earned on the $100 between times two and time four. So I'm using this notation cap A sub 100 of four as, meaning, as being the amount at time four based on the $100 deposit Likewise, the second, the, the second term in that, in that difference is the amount at time two based on the $100 deposit. And so uh, those values will be 100 times the accumulation, at value, uh, accumulation function at time four and 100 times the accumulation function at time two, respectively. Going back to the original problem to, to, to look at, well, what are the values? What are the numeric values for A of 4 and A of 2? I see A of 2 is 1.5. A of 4 is 3. So I'm plugging in a 3 in the, uh, as a second factor in the first term, 1.5 second factor in the second term. And doing the arithmetic, I get 300 minus 150. So I'm, I know now that the amount of interest earned on the $100 between time 2 and time 4, just on the $100, the amount amount of interest is uh, is 150. I earned $150 in interest between time two and time four based on that $100 deposit. Now, what about the $400 deposit? So I'm using the same notation. I would say the amount, of the, so this notation, the symbol is representing the amount of interest earned between time two and time four based on the $400 deposit. Well, look, the $400 deposit wasn't put in until time three. So there's not going to be any interest earned between time two and time three. It wasn't there in the, in the account. So the amount of interest between time two and time four is actually just the amount of interest between time three and time four based on that $400 deposit. And I'm using the same logic as before. That would be the amount in the, in the account at time four based on the $400 deposit minus the amount at time three based on the $400 deposit. This, the last term there, the amount at time three based on the $400 deposit is just $400 because that's when the, that's when the $400 was put in. And so now I need to know, well, what's the amount at, at time four based on that uh, $400 deposit? And I know that, that I, I get that by accumulating the $400 
Uh, I multiply that times the periodic accumulation factor from time three to time four. I know that that factor is the ratio A of four over A of three. I know the A of four value is three, the A of three va value is two. And so the $400 accumulates to $600. I plug that back in and I get $200 then. So let me back up for one. I'm gonna plug in the $600 then for the accumulated value at time four based on the $400 deposit. In other words, the $400 accumulates to $600. Subtract off the $400 that was put in and then the other $200 was what was earned in interest on that $400 between time three and time four. So finally, I, 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 you know, remember, recall that the amount of interest based on the $100 deposit was 150. The amount of interest based on the $400 deposit is 200. So the total amount of interest over the time period from two to four would be the sum of those two, which is 350, the exact same answer that I got before. Both of those are, are both of those techniques to, to get to the final answer of 350 are, uh, I don't see as one being more advantageous over the other. I think it's good that you see both and understand both uh, both techniques. So I hope that you'll go back and, and, and look at that again if you didn't understand both techniques. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.